In this video, you will learn how to make this combo chart in Microsoft Excel. You can see here this combo chart contain two graphs, which are column graph and line graph on this same chart. So let's start how we can make this in Microsoft Excel. Before I start creating this graph, I first look at this data. You can see here I have sales uh, in different months and profit during these months. In previous video, uh, we have learned about how to make these uh, combo chart using the same y-axis and in this uh, chart we will use additional axis which is given here. So let's start uh, this tutorial without any delay. The data is already displayed here so firstly we select this data. Go to insert a chart and from combo chart you can see here uh, the cluster column line chart I have already uh, explained in previous video. So the focus of uh, this video will be clustered column line on secondary axis. And if you want to explore this one you can see here uh, this is stocked area cluster column chart. Uh, so I will select this one and we will start formatting of this. First, resize so it become more apparent to you. You can see here different chart styles are available uh, by default in Microsoft Excel. You can use any of these if you want, and you can change color from using this option. And here, quick layouts are available. You can also explore these options. Uh, I will select uh, this plus options and from here I want axis titles. I want to remove these grid lines so uncheck grid lines. Firstly change these titles. Sale versus profit. Click enter and in home page I will change their color and font size. Next change the axis label. Similarly change the success label. This one shows month. Next, uh, format these axes. Select this one, select red color, bold, and 12. Now, right click on this and go to format axis. I will change minimum to 2000 and maximum value here are. 14,000 you can see here so I will change maximum value to 14,000 instead of 16,000 I will ch change minor unit to 500 and here I will want tick marks both minor as well as major on outside of this axis and go to this option fill and line and here 
I want solid line with red color and 1.5 width or you can change uh, this color to in blue color similarly I will format this axis One point five volt blue line. And next, secondary axis. You can see here uh, these uh, labels appear densely, so I will change this a little bit. Axis options. Uh, minimum zero. I will change this to one hundred and maximum value 900 here major unit is uh, 1000 i will change it to here i will change it to 2000 then 900 will not be displayed which is maximum value so i will change it back to 1000 and here I will change it units to 2000 major unit and minor unit oh, 40 that's fine I want tick marks Here is solid line and the width 1.5 Change your color, font size now we will uh, start formatting in, in this column and line graph select this column graph and uh, change its width to 100 percent their width is increased now and now go to fill and line option and change their color to this one and solid line around these I will change their color to green one. Line color around black and 1.5 width. Next we will format the line. And I will change its color in fill and line option you will find the option to change the color of the line red and change their width size to 2 you have also option of markers uh, you can edit these markers according to your requirement and here is the legend you can change its font size and you can also change their location if you select this one and go to format legend you will find uh, this option if you select top this will be displayed on top and if you select bottom it will be displayed in bottom or you can use left right option as well so thanks for watching this tutorial